<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all if you have a PS3 HIN enabled system, how you can update your PS3 HIN installation. This is mainly helpful if you want to update or upgrade it whenever a new update of some kind comes out for PS3 HIN. So this is going to be different than a firmware update. This does not touch your firmware in regards to updating that. This only updates your PS3 HIN install. On top of that, this guide is also going to assume that you have already seen a PS3 HIN tutorial you set it up yourself, or you've seen the previous one I have done. If you're not sure about what I'm talking about and you want to set this up on your PS3, you can go ahead and check out my tutorial covering how to install PS3 HIN on firmware 4.85. So for the first method of updating HIN, this is actually the easiest one and this works completely through the PS3. So first of all, you need to enable HIN. If you have not done so, do that already and just spend a few seconds letting it enable. And as you can see, I'm on 2.3.1, which is the latest version right now. So I'm technically going to be reinstalling this, uh, but this will work if you are updating to a newer version of HIN. Now, once you have it enabled, if you are on one of the newer versions which has this, you can check. If you go over to network and you have hybrid firmware tools, that means that you can use this method. And this method involves going to hybrid firmware tools, go down to PS3 HIN updater, update PS3 HIN, Press X on here, yes to download, and let it download the latest HIN installer. At that point, that should be done, so you can go back, and in order for it to fully take, you will need to restart your system. So go ahead, turn off your system, and turn it back on. Now, once you restart your system, you can go in, enable HIN, and if there has been a new HIN update, it should show you which version you're on, as well as the latest version available. Now, the second method is going to involve your PC, and this is mainly useful if, for some reason, this method does not work, or if you are on an older version of PS3 HIN, which does not have the hybrid firmware tools built in. So if you're doing that, you will need your PC and of course a internet connection and a flash drive. So let's go ahead, grab all those things and move over to our PC. Over at the PC, go over to ps3exploit.com and as per usual, there are messages which do get posted up on here. So I'd recommend reading them and they do always change, but 4.85 just released and they're just the warnings with PS3 HIN. And this still does apply. Do not enable factory service mode and don't install CC API if you're using PS3 HIN. Anyways, what you can do here is you can go over to PS3 HIN in the corner, select which firmware you are on. For this, I'm going to be using 4.85 HFW because that's what I'm using for my actual system firmware and then click on HIN Installer Package. From here, make sure you have a flash drive which is formatted to FAT32. If you do not have a flash drive formatted to FAT32, you can take your flash drive, back up anything you need off of it, right click, format, and then format it to FAT32. Since mine's already been formatted, I'm just going to save this directly onto my flash drive here. And now with that saved, you can remove your flash drive and take it over to your PS3. Back over at the PS3, I'd recommend restarting it and do not enable HIN because you do not need it enabled when you first start this up. But instead, go over to your internet browser and we need to go to the PS3 exploit website. Now as you can see, I set mine to the default web page here but you just go to here, ps3exploit.com. And then you need to go over to the top left corner for PS3 HIN, select the current firmware you are on, and then select enable hand rewrite flash and press X. And now it's going to ask if you want to close a window, say yes to that, close out of your browser. Now go over to the package manager, install package files, standard, and use the latest HIN installer signed. And this should just install by default. The reason why you don't have to enable HIN is because what we just did technically enables HAN and then allows us to install this. So once that is installed, 
you can go ahead and restart your PS3. Once your PS3 restarts, go ahead and re-enable HEN. And once you enable this, you should be on whichever latest version you just installed. Again, mine is 2.3.1 because at the moment this is the latest version, so I'm really just reinstalling it at this point. But there you go, so that is two methods you can use to update your PS3 HIN installation. Now, a few other quick tips here. If you want to disable going to what's new every single time and you haven't done this already, you can actually change that pretty easily, so you default over to game and enable HIN, just like I do on my system restarts. If you want to do that, you can go over to settings, system settings, and in here you can turn off display what's new. So that way whenever you restart your system, you'll default to enable HIN as opposed to what's new. On top of that, if you're having some issues with the PS3 HIN updater, one thing that is recommended that you should do is to disable the confirm browser close option. To do this, you can go to your internet browser, and then whenever it launches, we're going to have to change one of the settings in here. So you can press the triangle button, go to tools, confirm browser close, and turn that off. So that way, whenever HIN needs to close the browser, it will just do so automatically like that. The final thing as well, if you are confused with what firmware version you are on for whatever reason, that's also extremely easy to check. You can go over to settings, system settings of course, go to system information, and right there it's going to show what version you're on under your system software. So that is about it. Hopefully this tutorial helped you all out. If this tutorial did, a like would absolutely be appreciated, and if it didn't, a dislike is fine as well too. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.